Columbus Stories Found. Each week we feature funny, weird, and mostly true stories from writers, artists, and storytellers around the world. I'm your host, Ava Love Hanna, a writer and humorist from Austin, Texas. Joining me is my writing partner, audio engineer, and all-around cool guy, Paul Hanna. You're listening to Stories Found. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Stories Found. This episode is going to be a little different because instead of hearing from a guest storyteller, we'll be hearing one of my stories. It's a story that attempts to answer that age-old question, am I willing to punch a peacock? I'm your storyteller this week, Ava Love Hannah. I'm a humorist, published playwright, and award-winning speaker and storyteller based in Austin, Texas. Most importantly, I am continually amazed by how often I'm mistaken for a real grown-up. Okay, so this is normally when I ask our guests a few questions and have them set up their story for us, but it would be a little weird for me to ask myself questions, so Paul is going to interview me. Hey, so um, tell us a little bit about the story. Okay, so this story is about the time I took our son to Mayfield Park. It's a it's a pretty famous park in Austin that's known for having 18 peacocks roaming the grounds. It's it's not a huge park, so it's pretty peacock heavy. It was supposed to be a fun adventure and it got weird. Is this story true or mostly true? <laughs> this story is 100% true and from the details in it, you'll you'll figure out like I did. I it taught me a lot of <laughs> about my parenting skills, about my willingness to put up with aggressive birds, and about my choice in friends. So this story was recorded live. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the story you're about to hear was recorded actually at Mayfield Park while I was surrounded by the very same peacocks that are in the story. A year later, my friend had a benefit show that was peacock-themed, and he invited me to tell this story at the very place that it happened. In the video, which is actually going to be posted on our website, you can see me looking over my shoulder nervously a few times because the peacocks there are, they are insane. You can hear them uh, moving around and making noises through the whole story. And in fact, a few audience members came up to me after the show and told me that while I was telling the story, peacocks were creeping up behind them. It's, uh, it's not my favorite park. So without further ado, here is, Am I Willing to Punch a Peacock? by Ava Love Hannah. So the peacocks have been relatively well behaved tonight, which is good for you guys and bad for me. Because my story is called, Am I Willing to Punch a Peacock? And the answer is yes. Good night. (laughs) So I wanted to tell you about my first visit to Mayfield Park. And it was a year ago, it was last April. And we are coincidentally in the middle of peacock baiting season. So if you wonder why they're a little crazy, that's part of it. If a peacock comes up behind me, tell me and I will run for safety because I'm seriously scared of them. So my first visit to Mayfield, Mayfield Park started out really lovely. It was a day just like this. It was clear sky, light breeze, but the peacocks. Peacocks were angry that day, my friends. So uh, Kai and I, Kai's my son, we had stopped at the grocery store and we had picked up food for a picnic. And I thought, what better place to go than Mayfield Park? I've never been, long time Austinite, but never been. And I've heard it's known for these brilliant peacocks that wander the ground. And what better way to spend a sunny afternoon with my son than with peacocks, right? Wrong. (laughs) Peacocks are scary. And if you don't know this by now, Mayfield Park is crammed full of them. There are 19 of them here. And I don't think they like people. (laughs) Or me. So we sat down at the picnic table just on the other side of that wall. We hadn't even made it fully into the park yet. And we spread out our lunch. And we were getting ready to eat when two peacocks jumped up on that wall. And I thought this was amazing. I was mesmerized by how beautiful these birds were. I had never seen one in real life. And they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. And they're way bigger than I had thought they were. And so I go over to take pictures, but this other family sitting at the next picnic table got really weird. They got quiet. And as the peacocks came closer to them, they sat really, really still. And they just looked right at their food and they didn't talk to each other, which I thought was crazy. But this wasn't their first peacock rodeo. (laughs) They knew something I didn't know yet. And that's that peacocks are super jerks. (laughs) So I'm going to interrupt my story and I'm going to tell you 
one other thing about peacocks that you may have noticed tonight, they are incredibly loud. And their call, of course, during my story, they're being quiet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so their call is really, really loud. And it's not nearly as pretty as their feathers. And it's sort of unnerving, right? Like you'll just be sitting there and think, there's only two peacocks at this park. But no, you'll look down at your salad, hear them all calling to each other, and they're like little sneaky, pretty velociraptors. <laughs> they'll, they'll sneak up around you, you'll look up and realize you are about to enact a much prettier version of that scene from Jurassic World. <laughs> it doesn't matter what time your clock says, when you're at Mayfield Park, it's peacock o'clock. <laughs> so enough foreshadowing. So there we were, and one peacock jumps up onto the little shed over there, and I didn't know peacocks could like super jump or fly or however the hell they do it but one gets up there and another one got right above us in the trees and I was still on the peacock train at this point I was like this is amazing look at his beautiful tail hanging and when that happened that other family said nope they grabbed their stuff they didn't even pack it and they ran out whatever weirdos so they had, they had a better table in the shade so I took it so Kai and I go over there and we're like, this is amazing. And we are laughing and having a great time and enjoying each other's company. And I won't lie, I was thinking about what a great mom I am. <laughs> because I had picked this beautiful park and we were having an amazing adventure and I was introducing my son to peacocks. But I'm gonna warn you that peacocks can sense pride. <laughs> because no sooner had I thought that, that two giant peacocks jumped up behind us on the wall and another one came around the side of the table towards my son. And at first I thought, this is gonna be awesome for Instagram. I'm gonna take so many pictures. <laughs> but he started coming kind of aggressively. And so I said, hey Kai, look at that. No Kai, move, 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 now move. And he didn't. And so I reached over the table and I grabbed my eight year old who was inches from having a peacock beak in his leg. And so uh, I sweep our lunch into the bag and I back against the stone wall, the rock wall, wondering what hell had happened. And, and I notice there's another peacock eyeballing us menacingly on the wall. <laughs> so at this point, we're effectively trapped between a rock full of peacocks and a hard place, <laughs> also full of peacocks. <laughs> and so I still don't know what's going on, so I think, you know what, shh, we're just gonna sidle down the wall, and wait for these guys to relax, and everything will be okay. So we do, and there's another bench over there, and we're not quitters. So we said, you know what? We're gonna sit on this bench. We're gonna eat this lunch. <laughs> so we start to pull our lunches out, and damn if that peacock who didn't charge at us the first time comes right back around. And I'm going, I don't get it. I, I, I don't understand what's happening. Is he attracted to my salad? <laughs> so Kai decides that this is all my fault. And he says, of course. They think you're eating nature and that you hate nature. <laughs> Okay, look, I don't hate nature. And I tried to tell the advancing peacock that, but he wasn't listening. So then I thought, oh, I bet he likes salad and he wants a bite of my salad. I'm not super proud of what I did next, but let's keep in mind I was panicking. So I reached into my salad, I picked up a really big leaf of baby spinach and I threw it right at his head. <laughs> now, I'm not sure exactly what I expected to happen there. I think what was supposed to happen is he was supposed to jump in the air and eat the baby spinach leaf with his beak like a Scooby snack and be instantly sated. Instead, he dodged the spinach leaf, he looked really annoyed and he charged at me even faster. <laughs> Now this is probably gonna come as a surprise to most of you hearing this story, but I don't have a lot of experience with animals, so I wasn't sure what to do next, but all I could think to do was to like look big. So I puffed myself up, I put my arms out, I balled up my fist, I looked at Peacock right in his beady jerk eyes, and I said, you get back or I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> and then I grabbed my son and we ran like crazy from the parking lot with a peacock chasing us the whole way. <laughs> Fortunately, he stopped abruptly at the sidewalk because that's like the end of their turf. So if anything goes bad, just get to the sidewalk. <laughs> but so there I was with my son and I'm panting and I'm sweaty and I'm holding a half-eaten salad because I didn't drop it and I got a fork and people are trying to come into the park and I'm going, no, no, don't go in there. There's peacocks everywhere. And, and I'm sure everyone appreciated that information. <laughs> didn't think I was crazy or anything. So I'm still confused by what happened. So, but we're okay, but we're done with the park. So we get in our car and I decide to go to Facebook for help. And the first few comments that come in all say that they're sure that the peacocks were in love with me. Oh, 
because my friends are jerks. <laughs> but then I got a few good comments that were saying that other people had also been attacked by peacocks in this park. What the hell? <laughs> I've read a lot of reviews of this park. I actually wrote an article, apparently poorly researched, about this park. <laughs> and I had never heard of people being actually aggressively attacked by peacocks here. So, but here it was, people I know and love all sharing my new shame, being chased out of a public park by really pretty birds. <laughs> all I can think is that this must be home to some sort of peacock fight club. <laughs> and we all know the first rule of peacock fight club. You do not talk about Peacock Fight Club. That's, that's <laughs> anyway, so, 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 I learned some really important things during that lunch, and I'm going to share them with you. <clears throat> First, peacocks are jerks. <laughs> and they will attack you if you are eating a salad. <laughs> or, I don't, I didn't learn anything. I don't know why the hell they attack people, they just do. <laughs> but I did learn that throwing baby spinach is not an acceptable defense. <laughs> but I did learn something else. I learned that I am, without a doubt, willing to punch a peacock <laughs> if it threatens my child. Oh. And that's what's so great about parenting, right? <laughs> Before I was a mother, I never had to stop and consider which birds or animals I was willing to punch in self-defense. Now, I have a list. <laughs> So, while I love animals and I would never condone actually hurting one, I will say in all honesty that as that peacock menacingly approached my child and refused to back away, I was fully prepared to use Strunk and White to defend us. <laughs> I'm an English major, I know my fist Strunk and White. You do stuff like that. <laughs> so, on the days when I feel overwhelmed, when I feel like I'm not doing enough or being enough as a parent, when I feel like I'm just not smart enough or strong enough, I can now think back to the great peacock attack of 2016 and know that I am enough. I am smart enough and strong enough to take care of my son in tense situations. And I am willing to do anything for him, even weird things I didn't expect, like throwing my body in front of a group of charging peacocks. <laughs> You've just heard Am I Willing to Punch a Peacock by me, Ava Love Hannah. If you'd like to hear more of my work or learn more about me as a writer and storyteller, check out my website, avalovehannah.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll have a blog post with a transcript of this story, some of my pre-peacock attack pictures of Mayfield Park, and a video of the live performance on our website, storiesfound.com. Thanks for listening to Stories Found. We've been your hosts, Ava Love Hanna and Paul Hanna. Get more info about this week's episode, subscribe to our newsletter, or submit your own story and be a featured storyteller in a future episode. You can do all that and more on our website, storiesfound.com. Stories Found was recorded at ELA Studios deep in the heart of Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm.